In this tip, I've got a quick way that you can check if your arms are tightening in your backswing or not. So if you followed me for any period of time, you will know I do not want you hitting that golf ball with your hands and arms. Because if you go to hit with your arms, you're gonna lock everything up. So I want your arms nice and relaxed as you hit your ball. All right, so here's a quick way to get the feeling of what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip our club upside down, okay? So if you flip your club upside down, what I want you to do is do three nice and slow and smooth back swings. Okay, so here we are. We're taking it back nice and slow. Just smooth, nice and easy, all the way back. Now on number four, what I want you to do is I want you to take it back as fast as you can. Okay, and if you do that, you're going to feel your arms tighten as you take that golf club back. All right, so that is the feeling of locking up your arms. So I want you to take the golf club back smooth and at a pace you don't feel your arms tighten up. Okay, because if you're already tight right here, how are you going to be relaxed when you come down and through, you know, into your follow through position? Because you're already locked up. So if you're already locked up, you're going to be locked up when you hit the ball. That's going to lead to things like a chicken wing, you know, holding the face open, you know, even fat shots, thin shots, top shots, all sorts of things. So why not just get this feeling? Okay, so you flip it upside down like this, nice and slow. See right there, my arms feel very relaxed. So this is the pace, or maybe even a little, little smoother. You know, find a pace that you like that's not gonna lock up your arms. So remember how you're gonna check, you're gonna take it back fast. And as soon as you do, you'll feel your arms tighten. So you wanna go back at a pace that you don't tighten your arms. And that's with all clubs, all right? So once you get that feeling, that's the pace you're going to be swinging at. Okay, you start loosening everything up, get a lot more club head speed, create a better release, get rid of the chicken wing, and of course, hit some amazing shots. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's gonna help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm gonna send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.